Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel video. Today my dear friends we will talk about the new IMO Sulfur limit for the ship's uh, fuel of Sulfur and as you have uh, seen I have made also previous video also we have speak about uh, our community uh, some of the questions and some of the opinions we have shared together and uh, already we are in the quarter two of uh, the year which already uh, the most of the ships uh, have implement this kind of uh, regulation and some of the ships which uh, cannot find some of the fuel available on the market they can use a uh, like kind of uh, document which calls Fonar which uh, will describe that uh, the ship was not able to find such kind of fuel with the latest regulations uh, this kind of document it's available and in case that you are not able to find such fuel you just have to fill it and this is a uh, like, like kind of proof uh, of document that you will have and retain on board uh, in case that there is some uh, port state control or something uh, else that you will be covered in somehow but you will not fully covered but you will have some excuse uh, to give to this uh, for the ports the control review so why the regulations are so strict and why uh, the industry have implemented them so the most uh, reason that we do that is for cleaner air so 77% drop in overall sulfur oxide emissions from the ships uh, will lead an annual uh, reduction of uh, the SOX about to 8.5 million metric tons that is quite a lot this is a very very big quantity uh, of SOX and just imagine that uh, natural causes like vo volcanoes, some uh, anaerobic organisms also produce such kind of uh, gases. So fluid acid, also these gases uh, on the earth, there is available through the time. But as we know, the nature have some kind of percentage that uh, produce through the time and also human this is uh, another side effect that produces some millions of metric tons the total metric tons that overall global production uh, have done it's about 120 million metric tons of uh, sulfuric oxide but in our atmosphere it's about 1 ppm to compare about with the planet venus which have 155 ppms and as we know the planet suffer from high temperatures because the green gases uh, effect will be very very uh, tremendous in such kind of gases so this gas, the sulfuric oxide, is a toxic gas, uh, also have its cycle through the factories and through the funnels of the ships, the factories it go, uh, goes up, mixed together with the humidity of uh, the inside the sky. And there is some kind of production of sulfuric acid so sulfuric acid fell down on the trees and make damages also uh, corrosion damages to the 
architectural structures like marble. So another thing that is very positive is impact of the human health. Uh, there is around about 580,000 deaths from uh, respiratory problems and disease for sure will be reduced. And all that places that are close to ports, let's say some coastal areas, will have much, much healthier uh, health and they will have a better quality of uh, living. So that means higher quality for the fuels. The major of the ships will switch to higher quality low sulfur fuel oil to meet the limit okay as we know low sulfur fuel have a problem of lubricity so the manufacturers can improve this kind of lubricity of the fuel they can add something else but uh, they must closely monitor that production of the blending fuels and as we know blending fuels it's a little uh, tricky on uh, board the vessel. So we avoid to mix the fuel together. We try as much as possible uh, to not mix all the fuel uh, at all times. That is true because we never know until the analysis coming back on board the vessel. So with uh, in my last contract, we use two uh, separators heavy fuel separators and we lose low feed rate with that low feed rate we have a better cleaning effect of the fuel so with two separators we have the double cleaning amount of the fuel and double fuel double cleaning effect on the fuel itself so we remove any uh, production from the catalysts which insert for the uh, inside the fuel to remove uh, the sulfur and to reduce the limits because there is used some of catalytics inside which is we have made also in previous video that they are harmful there is some uh, metal parts that remain uh, as residue on the fuel so you must be aware always there is a lot of ways to prevent uh, such uh, items the silica and uh, these materials to enter to the fuel oil system and to the engine inside so it will be harmful that's why we must give a very very big care for the fuel itself the storage the cleaning and the uh, proper set of viscosity inside the engines so the proper maintenance also of the fuel pumps will be necessary so sometimes we have discussed with uh, various chief engineers and they said that all pumps have fuel pumps have much much bigger clearances so in case that even these abrasive uh, particles will be entered will not uh, make such damage damage uh, if the pump is new and the clearances are really small so also we must to be careful that to have spares for the fuel pumps uh, we must be covered from all the sides in any case we have to uh, repair the equipment and also very very good thing from ship owners and operators to order as much as possible a fuel which have some standards in ISO. In my last contract we have a, not in the exact properties of the fuel 
was out of the spec most of the fuels but we try as much as possible to burn we have a lot of problems with purifiers we always uh, one time per month or two times or three times sometimes four times depends uh, of the fuel and uh, the level of the tanks because as you know as the level go much much down all the residues that remain in the tank will be dragged by the supply pump of the purifier and sent to purifier so purifier will be much much dirtier in such uh, operational uh, levels of the tank okay so always you must to be careful and also some additives uh, some fuel additives of the storage tank so will make some cleaning effect will uh, it is a must for such fuel as i see uh, as the time passes and reg the regulation changes there is a lot of uh, new things that marine engineers must apply through the time and to be careful that is true as the standards increases as the regulation increases we always must be familiar and be careful in the new things. The other thing is that uh, the scrubbers that have installed have failed to pass some of the regulation of local authorities, like say of China or United States. They prohibit to uh, clean these scrubbers and all the sort uh, from these systems to be deposit uh, on the sea uh, environment because as we know this is the afterburn uh, that col that are collected uh, as soot and this soot must be uh, properly also disposed uh, because as we know also the soot mixing this with seawater and water Will, will can uh, will produce also sulfuric uh, acid so there is a lot of challenges in new regulations of uh, sulfur 2020 uh, as we know uh, the charters and uh, the operators will try as much as possible to save on fuels and that's why uh, the problems will be occur uh, on board the vessel for the quality. So, sure, as you can see, the authorities will check that uh, the flag and the port state control uh, will be attend to the vessels, and sometimes you must be able to supply some kind of. Uh, representative sample from your sulfu they can take from storage tank they can take from service tank they can take also before the engine inlet they can take uh, from whatever they like from the boilers from the generators and from an engine from all the points and you must be able to supply from all these places uh, that kind of uh, samples so another thing that uh, i have told about uh, the scrubbers that have failed in some way uh, the problem also is that the sulfuric acid together the sea water uh, as seaman we know this is the worst environment that we can achieve uh, on board a vessel and can have tremendous uh, impact on the machinery itself on the scrubber for sure it will be dissolved in one or two years maybe in one year it will not last for long uh, also all these gases that was produced and was gone from the funnel direct to the atmosphere have some time until going down to mix with the air with the humidity to make some process 
and now all this water just imagine with the salt going down to the bottom of the sea so the sea is affected directly from this kind of uh, sulfur oxide and formulate direct the sulfuric acid so we do not produce any air pollution we pollute the seawater itself and the life uh, of marine uh, living organisms so the regulations also must be reviewed for sure together with marine engineers which have a big experience on such systems together with the authorities and the regulations of IMO they must sit down on one table and to find the solutions uh, to this problem for sure everybody uh, try to keep these standards we like this uh, because we can reduce all this pollute, pollution which is produced from uh, the equipment and from the operation of the ships but we can set another things and uh, we can say that all these things happen because there is a lot of demand uh, of the products so also uh, there is another thing that some char charters they like their uh, let's say the cargo as much fast as possible also this is affected together with the market itself so as you can see uh, let's say one charter like to take his cargo as fast as possible because the price is high the ship will go to 100 and possibly 110 percent to achieve the proper time to arrive and eta uh, on the port okay so how we will reduce this production of socks and of the nox for sure there will be much much bigger production of uh, such uh, acids through the running of the engine at this load okay so in one point also the charter does not care so much about the air uh, pollution and about the impacts on human health they must also to plan properly and also must not be only uh, localized on the equipment of the marine uh, marine industry itself and also ma we must view another uh, relative uh, points of the marine industry okay uh, that is really really good thing to review and to see and overall we must see in overall think uh, all the items all the parameters and how we can achieve uh, the limits and the more reduction of uh, the annual overall sulfur oxide uh, emissions what else we can tell we can tell that now we have 0.5 uh, sulfur content by uh, by volume in mass and also we can tell that uh, I have been in Baltic Sea some areas which is called ECA areas already uh, applied these regulations from 2015 we have there 0.10 0 0.10 or sometimes 0 0.05 uh, limit of sulfur is much much uh, less so I have that kind of experience the fuel was a little bit tricky that kind of fuel was RMD 80 and I have such video if you're looking uh, quite enough back I describe this kind of fuel with all its uh, parameters so you can check it and you will be able to see 
the properties and how we have to deal with that fuel. So the regulation in some areas like Eka areas, Black Sea, uh, North Sea, uh, Baltic Sea, uh, already implemented that things from 2015. Also, when you are entering, before entering, two hours and after leaving uh, the ECA zone, you must have a proper enter inside the logbook that you have changed uh, your equipment to such fuels. So this is also, it's another thing. And also, my dear friends, I will for your comments uh, to talk about that what problems you have faced uh, i like to tell you that recently i have uh, speak with one chief engineer uh, and he told me that he have one experience that three times uh, he get the fuel fuel oil out of spec and also one time he give the fuel back because as he showed me the pictures really uh, I have never seen something like that. Uh, the fuel oil purifiers, the purifiers was stuck completely. The sludge tank was completely stuck. Oily bilge completely stuck. Like, uh, let's say this is a uh, mud. Okay, just imagine something like that. This is not fuel. This is uh, asphaltaneous, which you are just uh, take and uh, build a road. Okay, that is the best thing I believe that ship operators and owners must closely, uh, closely check the refineries and to have a better contract with them uh, with supply of such fuels and not only to make a spot and operational buy of the fuel and the purchase so what else we can tell about the sulfur the regulations already implemented we talked about the phonar this uh, document that is very very important to feel if you are failed to purchase uh, the fuel so another thing also that we can reduce the SOX uh, emissions is to have a less consumption, a less consumption of the fuel. The less the fuel consumption, the less the production, the SOX and NOX. That is true. So we need to build some engines will, will, uh, which will achieve the shift operator speed the necessary speed and we try to reduce as much as possible the fuel uh, quantity that burns inside the engine so we, we need to make our engines more efficient and this is the goal that we need to achieve because our industry uh, regulate of 90 percent of all goods uh, around the world that is true so my dear friends, don't uh, forget to leave your comments, don't forget also to propose some things, it will be very very interesting if we have uh, this communication together and also to get your ideas how we can improve further uh, the emissions of SOX and NOX, uh, which also will help our industry and who knows maybe you will get one day some of uh, the higher uh, places on the industry uh, from the development of the engines who knows or uh, somewhere in the regulations uh, on the IMO so maybe you were the one who will be uh, identify all the factors and all the items but for that there is a need for time support from the operators ship owners refineries and the crew itself to have a better and clear 
view of all the things and all the data must be collected for proper uh, identification of the factors and the reduction of uh, the emissions itself. Thank you that you have watched the video until the end. Don't forget, my dear friends, to check the playlists uh, and the old videos to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button for further notification. Don't forget also, my dear friends, to check the community tab where I leave some of the images and you can comment also and propose your interesting uh, description. Also, my dear friends, don't forget that I have made some merchandise here on the channel and I have set some items that Adventure Story uh, really loves. So if you like them, try to purchase and get stuck together with Adventure Story. So bye bye my dear friends.